Hi, I'm Sean and welcome to This Tech. Today we're going to be reviewing one of Rav Power's power banks. This is one of the Turbo Series power banks and it's one of the ones that actually has the USB Type-C connection on. Let's head down to the unboxing. Okay, so this is the unboxing of the Rav Power power bank I've purchased from Amazon. Let's have a look at the packaging it came in. Right, let's unbox this. So inside the box we have the quick start guide, the soft fabric mesh pouch, two USB cables, the first one being a half meter USB to micro USB cable. The second one being a tiny micro USB to USB cable. And the power bank itself. It's a really smart design. Neat rounded edges. And on the front, simply the RAV Power logo. On the back you have the specifications. So you can see it's 20,100 milliamp hour battery capacity. It has the quick charge 3.0 input of 5 volts to 12 volts at 2 amps. It has a type C input of 5 volts at 3 amps. Then it has the iSmart output, which is 5 volts at 2.4 amps. Then it has the quick charge 3.0 output, which is 5 volts to 2.4 amps, 6.5 volts to 9 volts at 1.5 amps, and 9 volts to 12 volts at 1.2 amps. Then finally it has a type C output of 5 volts at 3 amps. On the front here you can see the power level LEDs. You simply press the button and it displays the current remaining power. These LEDs also show when the unit is charging so you can see the charge progress. Right, let's look at the end. First we have the Quick Charge 3.0 input for charging the power bank. Then it has the USB Type-C input and output. Next it has the Quick Charge 3.0 output. Then finally the iSmart output which is RAV Power's own self-sensing output. Right, let's have a look at it in the pouch. This is really handy when travelling with the power bank. And it fits nice and snug with easy access to the socket at the end. Let's have a look at this with a USB attached, or maybe two. Next, let's connect the device and see if it charges. This is my Samsung Tab S. And once it's plugged in, you can see the screen light up and it begins to charge. And here is a close up of that. Now the next device is a test. This is my Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro S. This connects via USB Type-C.
but as you can see when connected the tablet reacts but does not charge. If I try disconnecting and reconnecting you can see the same thing happens, it does not charge. The alternative we can try is rather than using the Type-C to Type-C cable, we can use its own USB to Type-C cable and see if that makes a difference. So we'll try this in the quick charge connection. And then plug it into the tablet and this time straight away it shows not charging. This is a shame as it was the device I intended to use with this battery, with it having the Type-C connection. But after looking it up, it turns out this tablet requires a much higher power over USB-C, and it also does not support Qualcomm's Quick Charge, which is strange as all the other Samsung devices I own do support Quick Charge. Well that was the unboxing of the Rad Power Turbo Series power bank. I'll leave links in the video description of where you can purchase this on Amazon. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and like it, subscribe to the channel and also look in the video description on other ways you can help support my channel. Thank you for watching this tech.